guys, welcome back to Vintage Halloween. Um, today is Sunday and I have some videos I'm gonna post today. I thought I'd do some fun recording today. Um, if this is the first time finding my channel, hi, I'm Laura. Thanks for stopping by. I am a Halloween enthusiast. I collect Halloween, I collect vintage and reproduction Halloween decor and I love to decorate and I'm a Halloween artist. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Halloween Health Studio, and on Etsy with that, a shameless plug. Um, but yeah, so I hope if you like what I'm doing, you'll give me a follow, it'd be awesome. And um, yeah, so today, I thought it would be fun to, you know, give a little tour tour of the Halloween office and um, see all the goodies I got in here. This is where I usually do all of my packing for my business. So like on this tent right here next to me, I have like all my business cards, that type of thing like stickers, um, I have all my prints like right here um, in these files. So this is a place where I do all of my business end of my spooky art business. So I fulfill orders, I pack orders, I print labels, post new things to my store, that type of thing. I correspondence is all done in here. Um, and then next door, which will be another video, is my art studio and that's where I do all my painting. So um, yeah, so today I thought it'd be fun to just sort of go through this um, beautiful, beautiful room. So a little background on my Halloween office. So I think it was maybe 2019 when I moved here, I like always wanted to have sort of an autumnal themed room um, and just a place to really display my Halloween collection because I have tons and tons and tons of Halloween so I've been collecting for years. So um, yeah, in 2019, I just got, um, I got my town home and I decided to make this my office and have it Halloween themed. It's just been going since then. and. Um, Every year it gets bigger because I add more more foliage and things like that. Um, but it's just, it's really fun to just be like in my element and just be in here working and just looking around and seeing all the things I love around me. So I highly recommend if you love Halloween um, and you want to have stuff up but not year round throughout your whole house, the office is a very, very good place to put it just because you're not in here like, 24 seven, you're in here like to work work specifically, at least I am. So it just gives me more in, like enthusiasm to come in here and see all this cool stuff. And then also like the rest of my house can be different and not necessarily strictly Halloween. So it doesn't, as it's not as limiting, I guess, um, as I would feel if I had my whole house this way. But come October, it definitely does. So if you want to check out my decor, um, if you go back a few times in my videos, I have all of my tours in the past couple years of my living room. Um, you can see what I do with that. That's when everything in the office goes downstairs, plus some. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Let's get into the tour. Okay, we are going into the office. Um, on the ceiling, I have put my favorite thing, which are these leaf strands. And these things I made myself just out of jute twine and fake leaves. You can buy like a huge pack on Amazon. I just strung them up on here and then hung them up with thumbtacks. This is like my favorite thing to do for Halloween decor, just cause it makes such a huge impact. Um, if you have nothing on the ceiling versus having all this in the ceiling, it just makes a huge impact. So I feel like I'm sitting underneath a little, you know, leaf canopy and it's just very, very fun. I have banners hanging from the ceiling as well. Um, let's just start, I guess we're just gonna start maybe here on this side. Let's start on this side. So this is my Halloween dollhouse. Um, if you go back a couple videos, so a couple years ago, I actually made this from a kit. Um, I never finished the inside, so I need to do that, but it's still cute. And um, this is just like a lot of stuff, like I'm, you know, my packing stuff, supplies in here. Um, I just have other cute little Halloween knickknacks in here as well. Um, yeah. And then this, of course, is where I do all of my, you know, storage of my business stuff. So I have all of my prints in here. Like these are all different, um, different categories of different releases I've done. Um, and so I store them in here. And then these are just stickers and, you know, business cards, washi tape, things I use for packing, little note cards. Um, and then of course I have to surround it with my favorite stuff. So some of my favorite decor. I love this uh, pumpkin. This is in one of my recent videos. I thrifted that one at the thrift store. Um, just some other pieces. This cool print is my friend Prices. Um, you can find him on Instagram. He does really cool, um, so yeah, it's sort of like monster themed, Halloween themed things that are really cool. And then this right here, sorry, there's a glare. The light is right here. Um, this right here is my article that was in Spooky Little Halloween the magazine. My mom actually framed it for me for Christmas. And so it's been really exciting to have it up there. It's such a dream come true. And of course, Toby makes a cameo. This here is my favorite little nook. I've decided I think I want to start recording in this nook just because I feel like it's just so cozy. I love the background. Um, we have a lot of pumpkins, a lot of foliage. I added a lot of this foliage um, when I reset up the office this year after 
Halloween season was over. Um, I just love how it looks. It looks so much more autumnal. I have more foliage up here. I made this canopy also. This is just like one of those um, wire um, forms for a wreath. And then I just strung more of the same type of canopy from here, hung up with jute twine, and it just makes sort of a fun canopy that you can sit under and read under and think under and just, you know, just have a nice little place to sit and relax. Yeah. I just love, I love how this whole window seat sort of area came out. This is a piece from Balsam Hill that I'm obsessed with from a couple years ago. It's just so, so fun. I love that little sort of diorama thing going on there. It's giving um, Halloween diorama in a very good way. This is a cute piece I thrifted as well. Just more JOLs. And then we're moving into my shelves. And these are just a lot, some of my favorite pieces. Um, of course, this is the main desk where I work. And then this is usually the place where I have my printer and all of my scanner and stuff, but that is downstairs right now because I'm working downstairs for the time being. We have a lot of, you know, Billy Butcher's and Tombstone from Hocus Pocus, just these big JOLs. These have lights in them um, and they look, I just put stream lights in them. They look really cute. I love this little corner. This piece, of course, magnificent. Let's see if I can not fix that up. A lot of my haunted houses. Um, yeah, just a lot of like my black hat collection is here. My vintage JOLs. Um, this one is paper pulp. This one's vintage. Um, has some of the original inserts. Um, you can still see inside. It's just so fun. More black hats. I think I have a thing for black hats. Um, some Johanna Parker pieces. Um, more vintage pieces. This one is actually a reproduction. Um, but it just looks really, really old and cool. Just why I love it. Just, just fun goodness. And it's fun like sitting here in the chair because I'll sit in the chair so you can see the view because this is my view. Just all of this heavenly, heavenly goodness. All right, so we are gonna move over here to this side. Um, this is just, I just love looking at it every time I see it. It's just so exciting. Um, here on the door, we'll start over here on the door, are two costumes I wore as a child. This black one here is a black cat costume. Um, I made out of fun fur, and the other one is a bumblebee costume. I wore probably in like first or second grade. This costume here, the black cat, everyone in the town thought I was a black bear, so I was mortified <laughs> at the time. Um, but you know, it's just fun memories, and I'm glad that I still kept them. My mom made them. And also, this JOL, um, this isn't a JOL, <laughs> it's a skeleton. <laughs> This skeleton I've had since I was a little kid. So this used to be on our front door for Halloween and I kept him and he's still in good condition. A cute little die cut um, and he's articulated too. So you can move him around and I just think he's cute. He got, you know, his head ripped apart but I taped him back together. You can't tell, you can't tell. And then these two down here um, are both from Balsam Hill. This one actually lights up its fiber optic and this one just is a treat holder for um, candy on Halloween. I think he's so cute, the cutest little Halloween hat. Plus he's life size, so it was always fun. And I just have oh, just a bunch of little items I've collected over the years. Um, like this, this JOL, um, I think I got that at TJ Maxx a couple years ago. This bear piece is thrifted. Um, just a couple haunted houses. I have a thing for haunted houses. Definitely, definitely do, I'm obsessed with them. Haunted houses, ghosts, and of course this pumpkin. Um, this quilted one back here is one of my favorite thrift finds. This thing, y'all, is huge. I'll back up so you guys can see the size, but he's enormous um, and so cute. So I'm obsessed with him. Yeah, and I just have just all my little favorite pieces. I have like bins and bins more of pieces, but these are just my favorite ones. Um, it's just been really a fun thing to have as an office because you can just, you know, bask in the Halloween goodness. Yeah, here's the desk. This is a spider web from Balsam Hill as well. And I just put some fall foliage across it. Um, it makes just a fun entrance as you walk in to see everything there. But yeah, so that is my office. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And um, thanks for stopping by.